Hey guys, today we are going to learn and teach you how to make Korean barbecue short ribs. This recipe was taught to me by my mother and there are two ways you can make this recipe and I'm going to show you how to do it. Enjoy guys! Okay guys, let's get started on making this carby recipe. First of all, we're gonna put all the liquidy ingredients first. So we got soy sauce, half a cup already pre-measured, pour it in. Now you can use any kind of soy sauce you'd like. If you like the low sodium kind, you can. I just have a special Korean brand. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add water, about half a cup. Easy way to remember this, what I do is half a cup, half a cup, half a cup ratio, or a quarter cup, quarter cup, quarter cup ratio, because we're gonna also add half a cup about of brown sugar. And you can also substitute with stevia or Splenda, whatever you like, but um, be forewarned that I've tried that before and it doesn't taste the same. It doesn't have the same um, taste as if you use real sugar. So, because I'm using real sugar, I just go with the brown. And mix it around with a fork. This is basically the baseline of our marinade. And if you want, you can dip your finger, take a little, have a little taste. If you want it sweeter, then you can put more sugar. If you want it more not so sweet or too um, strong of the sodium, then you can dilute it and add a little more water. But take into account, this is going to be a marinade. The marinade is usually stronger. Next, we're going to go ahead and add got a tablespoon of garlic I'm gonna add that in there and as you add the ingredients feel free to stir it around then I'm gonna basically eyeball this is my sesame oil sesame oil I showed you earlier it is the Kiko man brand I'm gonna basically eyeball half a tablespoon, I believe. Okay, there. And then, this is optional. I'm gonna add sriracha. Um, I add about maybe a teaspoon to half a tablespoon, so I'm just gonna add a drizzle like that, same as the sesame oil. And then, this is also optional, pepper. If you're allergic, don't put that in. So I'm just gonna layer the pepper on top like that. And then we're gonna add, this is what I learned from my mom. Adding your favorite teriyaki sauce. Um, she, I, be, I believe she uses some kind of Yama sauce from Costco. I love this Hawaiian Pride brand. Whatever you prefer. Um, this is also optional, but it makes it taste real good. So I'm going to put half the container in and I'm just going to pour it in. I already pre-shook the, the container, so I'm going to just do that. Perfect. And then as you do this, you can go ahead and poke your finger in. Taste. Tastes perfect. It's gonna be really good, you guys. 
We got some green onions, then we slice. This is about, I would say, half a cup, so I'm gonna add this. I love green onions. If you want less, feel, feel free to put less. Um, but once you grill it or marinate it or whatever you do, it's not gonna all um, be on the meat. Okay, sorry about the TV being on. I did not realize I was on. Got some onions. This is white onions, um, diced or chopped. Um, so this is half a small onion. So we're gonna spread this around right here. And that is the marinade and that this part is done. So go ahead and give it a final stir with your fork. And you can also give it a taste, but I know it's gonna taste delicious. Let me give it a close up. That's what it looks like. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start um, putting the meat in there. I'll show you that part. Okay, so I already have all my meat right here. You can see it right here in the corner of the screen. And I already pre-washed it. So you want to rinse the meat before you marinate it because these short ribs have bone chips. You want to get rid of those. So I already pre-rinsed it in cold water, then um, basically put it on a plate. And you want to get as much of the bone chips off as possible or else when you serve it, you may run into a bone and you don't want that chipping your tooth. And as also, you can use a leaner meat if you're on a diet. So a leaner cut of steak, that works as well. Chicken thigh works. I'm not sure how great chicken breast marinades in my experience. It's never marinated too well. So um, I would stick with the red meat so, or chicken thigh, which soaks marinade pretty well. So that's what it looks like. I just went to the grocery store and bought this. You could buy this at the Oriental Market, but we're gonna go ahead, put it in right there, and we're gonna flip it. We're gonna make sure it's basically covered in that marinade, and we're gonna do that with the second one. And we're gonna go ahead and do this with all of them. Also, if you are dieting and counting every macro what you can do it may be tedious but you can submit every ingredient on my fitness pal and then weigh this marinade um, and before you put the meat and then weigh it after the meat is taken out so you can see how much of the meat um, of the marinade actually was soaked into the meat and then you subtract that amount and that's about the amount that went into your meat and then you can go ahead and divide up the servings but that's a lot of work honestly I do not worry about um, macroing this exactly I basically guesstimate maybe a tablespoon or two got soaked in the meat um, per serving and I would just I over Estimate it's better than underestimating it, so just to be safe. And you're gonna want this to marinate for I would say at least you know at least uh, 12 to 16 hours, but I marinate it for a little more than 24 hours and it comes out perfect. how beautiful that looks super yummy this is gonna be super good right there okay in this next step you're gonna want a ziploc bag or you can use um, just like a flat dish container but I'm just gonna use this container to put my bag in I'm gonna go ahead and put it in like this and depending on how much meat you put in here you may need two bags or just get a big quart but I'd rather stick with a small gallon bag because they have the least likely chance of ripping. Because the more weight you put in there, the more chances it has of ripping. So we're going to go ahead and start placing the meat in here. Perfect. Okay. 
Okay, now that we put the meat in the bag, you may be like, Grace, what about the marinade? That's the last part, you guys. So we're gonna get this marinade, and we're gonna pour it in here. Try to get it all even. It's gonna, the best part of putting it in a bag is most of, of the meat soaks the uh, marinade. Okay, once you have it in the bag like this, you're going to want to get it as airtight as possible. Um, this allows the marinade to reach all areas of the bag. So, just do that. Let's try to get the air out. I learned this trick from my mother as well. And there you go. And then once and when we do um, end up cooking it, we're gonna let this marinate. I put this container so I don't lift the bag and have all that weight and it won't break, um, or I'll have a least likely chance of breaking. So there it is, and when you're getting ready to grill it, I always grill from the bottom. So the bottom is the best, and then the top lasts. And then if you want, you could have probably put it in a shallow dish to make sure it's 100% covering but this is good for me so yeah you guys and we'll check in with you guys tomorrow for the cooking process remember to put it in the fridge you guys <laughs> and let it sit there for 16 to 24 or more hours And that, you guys, is how you make Korean barbecue short ribs. And you can just eat it alone if you're on low carb, but we're eating with sticky white rice. Sticky white rice. White rice. Salad with sesame ginger dressing. And that's it. And sriracha on the side. <laughs>